think they should just make the walkers look more cool. Like with Ooh. some racing stripes, some lights on it, a Like basket. the blinged out canes. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Amazon should be able to do that. Maybe it is. Yeah, okay. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Bradwin. And I'm Dr. Paul Zalzel. What are we talking about today, Paul? Canes, walkers, walking aids. When do you need them, when you don't, when can you get rid of them? Okay. This is a really common question for us as hip and knee replacement surgeons because everyone, to be honest, most people, they want to get off the walker ah, really quickly. Sure. You know why, I think? Because people always tell me, they're like, I don't want to look old. Walk. Right. right. <laughs> you might be old. <laughs> you might not be old. But, you might but, be as old as us. Yeah, old as us, for sure. But why do we, like, why do we care? As a surgeon, you're, some patients are probably like, why do you even care whether I'm using a cane or a walker or nothing? Yeah. Yeah. What's your answer? Why do I care yeah. if they were using a cane? Well, I don't want you to fall, first right. of all. Number one. Stability, right? You need a walking aid because if you just had lower extremity surgery, yep. Uh, like why are crutches cool? People are like, why well, I walk around with crutches? I hate, I don't like crutches. Crutches are more dangerous than a walker. Yes, and it requires much more coordination. Yeah. Yeah, but totally agree. If everyone feels fine walking around with crutches, I guess because that makes you think like, well, I don't know, like it was a rugby injury. That's yeah. why I got the crutches. Yeah. It's hard to say it was a rugby injury. That's why I got this walker. Yeah. <laughs> or this wooden cane. Fair enough. But we're worried about your stability. So right. walking aids help minimize the chance of a fall. And they also actually help you ambulate more efficiently if you have just had surgery on your lower extremities. 100%, so you already have pain, that's gonna make you feel unstable. Your muscles may have been uh, compromised during the operation, it's gonna make you feel unstable. Mm -hmm. Plus you might be on medication that actually literally makes you feel unstable. So that's why I'm, I'm with you, I definitely like the walker. Do you give a specific amount of time that you want them I, on a walker? I honestly, I can give a ballpark, but I defer to the physical therapist or the physiotherapist, right? It's a team approach. For sure. I remember I was on a team when I was a kid and I said, hey, come on, man, there's no I in team, right? To this player who was obviously way better than me. And he said, there's an I in win? He said, there's no you in win. <laughs> so, okay. Not, he was right. There you go. In any case, it's a team approach. So physical therapist or your physiotherapist, yep. well, they can assess your gait and your balance and determine when it's safe for you to transition. And it's, all, and it's not often a thing, okay, walker, whoosh, garbage, bring out the cane. Right. It's a transition. Use the walker for longer distances, try the cane for shorter distances, and then transition to the cane. Yeah, I'm the same. Sometimes cane in the house for the first little yep. while. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I tell people, just, just don't be in a hurry because if you do fall and if you walk with an abnormal gait, that puts a lot of abnormal stress on, on that joint as well as on the muscles that have been repaired. So don't be in a hurry because this whole process, like we've said a million times, is a marathon, not a sprint. And you just don't want to do any damage just so that you can get from a walker to a cane for really no other reason than pride. That's it, exactly. Uh, so listen to your therapist. Yes and help let them determine when you're safe to transition. I usually say about a month, to be honest with you. You got a time? I do, because yeah. a lot of people are like, oh, I'm already on cane. Like, they're kind of proud. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, that's good, but I'd prefer yeah. if you were on a walker just, for, just to be safer. And I'd rather have you go further and be more stable than go shorter distances and be mm -hmm. really sore and unstable. Yeah. That walker's not so bad. You got the basket, you can carry stuff. Especially in the new one, sometimes they have wheels, you get a the seat. The two-wheel walker, got brakes. Sometimes you can sit down, yeah, store your stuff. Awesome. Yeah, the walkers are better. Okay, so then next question, same thing. I suspect your answer is going to be the same. When you go from a cane to nothing? So yeah, it is the same. Yep. You, I leave it to the discretion of your therapist yep. who's assessing your stability and your gait, and they're going to determine if you can go to go to get rid of the cane completely. And again, it's a weaning off process. And remember, if you are using a cane, you're using it in the opposite side of the affected limb. Right. Left hip replacement, left knee replacement, canes in the right side. Right hip replacement, right knee replacement, canes in the left side. And make sure that your cane's the right length too. Mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's too long, then that's going to be awkward on your shoulder. If it's too short, you're going to be leaning over. Mm -hmm. So make, I, make sure it's not a candy cane. It's very holiday-ish of you. Um, and and cane, keep the cane maybe a little longer than you think too, because say you go out for a walk, maybe the first half you don't need the cane. Yeah. Then on the way back, you're starting to get tired. It's nice to have this. So I, you almost want to be carrying it in the air for a little while before you totally ditch it, yeah. just in case. It's like yeah. a security blanket. And so there's some funky canes out there too. Very I've seen nice, some yeah. like handcrafted wood canes that makes you look wise. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Keep it as long as you need it. Plus you can reach stuff with it. Yeah. Okay. So. That kind of answers the question of when you go from a walker to a cane or a cane to nothing, listen to your therapist and go slowly and err on the side of caution. And ballpark is about four weeks yes. after your hip replacement or knee replacement to go from a walker to a cane. There ballpark. You if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. Check out our November page. We'll see you next time.